It just seems like Earthbound is one of those games that we return to periodically on this channel. Just completely randomly, for one reason or another, this game just keeps coming back. I'm not complaining. It's sort of like Chrono Trigger. I didn't really grow up with it as a kid, but it's still one of my favorite RPGs of all time just because it does so many things well. It's okay. It's okay, Chugger Conway. We like the game, too. <laughs> Not to mention it has one of the simplest and yet most effective title screens in the world here. I don't think I've heard any other game use an instrumental like that. You, you just hear that, that bomb, bomb, bomb. Immediately puts you in the mood you need to be for this game. <sighs> good art's still good no matter how much time goes by, right? Yeah. It's not like Earthbound is without problems. It has its own little set of issues, but uh, we'll cover that when we get to them. Also, hi everybody. Welcome. Happy Mother's Day. Welcome to the stream, everybody. And uh, you'll see I went for the obvious choice here. There were a couple different things I considered for today. My other idea was maybe play Sonic Advance 2 because, you know, Cream's entire story is about going to rescue her mom. I thought that might be kind of clever. Really, really want Cream. I really, really, really want my character. Sorry, what was that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, who does those ads again? I think it's one of the candy bars. Well, it's Weezy Puffs, the cereal. Oh, I see. I will definitely want fast text speed. Also, I'm hearing your game, too. Dio! Dio! On. All right, then. I can fix this problem real easily. Oh. There we go. Hey, Stormy. Welcome to the chat, man. How are you doing today? By the way, thanks for the retweet of the initial post, by the way, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh! Speed of things that I greatly appreciate. Hey! <laughs> 14 months. I think you just annihilated Arbok, and now you're the bit boss. Thanks for that, man. It's always appreciated. Always glad that you guys are here, that anybody's here, really. But hey, we've, um... Let's do enough. We've done enough, like, lead up. What color do we want the menus to be? I usually go for mint flavor, I noticed, for the menus. It's just a really pleasing color to the eyes. Peanuts also, that's sort of... It's muted enough to where it's pleasant to look at, but it's also kind of bland. What an eclectic game that it colors it that it calls all of its menus by flavors. Also, what's plain flavor? Like, what do you think a plain actually tastes like? Is it just sort of like water? It has no discernible taste. Uh, that toothpaste that doesn't have any flavor. To it. <laughs> it's kind of air, and you're just like. It's, like, I can feel the texture in my mouth, but it's, like, there's no, like, mint, no nothing. It's just existence. Mmm, mm, oxygen flavored, my favorite. Eh, let's be a little different. Let's go for strawberry this time. So I'm gonna go for the canon names this time around, I think. We're gonna start up with Ness. What, go. you don't wanna be butt farts? There aren't enough characters for that. I can't do Deathlark either. <laughs> like, none of the typical joke names around these parts are going to work out for us this time around. I think I can get, get away with naming the pet something different, and I'm going to name the dog after my real-world dog. Stuck with me from when I was a child to way into my teenage years, maybe even past when I turned 20. Good old Maisie, the little Cocker Spaniel. And favorite homemade food. Should I go for the obvious one here? Should I make it pizza, or should I throw the curveball in there and tell people that I really like steak? Steak's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, but... 
Mexico, you got a tradition around these parts. If you got the emotes, you know what to put in chat. What is your fate? Oh, I should have. I should have saved it. Cause what's your favorite thing? I believe if you do this enough, it actually gives you games as an option. Gaming. Yeah, that's close enough. PK gaming. Yeah. Just enough customization to where it's our own, you know? That's actually, y you take what you can get in JRPGs sometimes. It's a totally different style, these games I've accepted over the years. Western RPGs, it's more, hey, we have a, uh, we're just going to let you loose in a world that we've built and you can tell your own story. JRPGs are very much, we have our own story that we're trying to tell and you're just kind of along for the ride. It all depends on what you're looking for, really. Not that one, it, like, you can't even think that one is better than the other. They have their own strengths and weaknesses to work with. You know, funny story about the uh, Mother's Day mother stream. I actually tried to get my real-world mom. The reason we're starting a little later than usual is because I was in a phone call with her. And we just kind of talked about life for a little bit. And discussed what's going on with- What in the- Wow! Dio! 525 freaking bits. <laughs> I think that's the shortest time anybody's actually been- been the bit boss. Wow, dude. Thanks for that, man. That's why I was so quiet. I had to listen to ads. <laughs> for at least a good 25 of those. Hey, bro. Did the sound wake you up? Are you freaked out? Uh, I mean, I'm not- uh, I don't have enough sprites to give myself uh, any extra expressions, so maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. Who knows? Oh, don't worry about it, Stormy. I never expect people to give me things anyway. I'm just happy that you guys are happy. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. You don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. I'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. I wonder what happens if you try to just leave in your jammies. Like, if she stops you at the door or something. I don't want to restart a, the game to actually check, but... I think it's a thou must situation. Hmm. Be careful. Come home as soon as you can. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? I don't know, you didn't hear the giant earth-shattering kaboom? Eh. I hear that, like, every day. <laughs> right, I forgot you live in Michigan. All the construction that's happening constantly. No, 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 that's only on the highway. <laughs> but life is a highway. And I want to ride it all night long. I didn't know you wanted to fuck life so bad. <laughs> it's a figurative phrase. Sure. Get your, mind, get your mind out of the gutter. Sure. Let's see, I forget which of these guys actually say some funny things. Then again, that that's pretty much all of the NPCs in Earthbound. Like, some of them have better lines than others, but the... This is one of the RPGs where it's actually worth it to talk to every single person and explore every single nook and cranny of every level. Hey, Ness. Hiya, buddy. Meteor I fell down and went... Pfft. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help ma make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you... Ooh, almost told you about my... Uh, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. Uh, that's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Uh, why don't you check out my work? Nudge, nudge, hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> I didn't get this name until way, way longer. It took me... It's one of those names you have to read out loud before you get the joke. This is Liar Exaggerates House.
It's marvelous, mysterious. It's different and interesting and weird. Quite a thing to start off the adventure on, isn't it? Hey, yes. Don't be rubbernecking. You're getting the cops, uh, oops, I mean, officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Move uh... faster, Pokey! <laughs> he can't. He has too much fat to work against. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Get out of my way. Clear out. Out way out. Get my... Uh, whoops. My mistake. I mean, get out of my way. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? It's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? I guess for now we are. And you live in the house next to us, I see. Sadly, he's not listening to me right now. Well, I can kind of see the meteorite from down here. It's all sparkly and shiny. Nice and luminate, I guess is the... <laughs> Is the proper term for that. Also, this guy seems really keen on people not being keen on what he's doing here. Except for Ness. He trusts us for some reason. I wonder why. Uh, not being able to move diagonally is driving me nuts. Oh, and I also need to make sure I actually equip the item that I've got here. Cool thing about this game. Most of the uh, interactions that I'm doing right now are actually being done with a single button. The, uh, the L, the L button on the SNES controller, this game was designed to be able to be played with just a one hand. So, I believe you can, you can check things with that button. I think you can bring up the, how do you bring up the menus again? I think it's, no, that I still have to use a dedicated button for. Oh, well. It was basically done that way you can confirm most things. Basically, it's a, I think it was a feature for people who are left-handed. Correct? Maybe. Hello, Mom. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Sure. No sense worrying about it any more than I already have, yeah? You know, until later that night when my sleep gets interrupted for the second time in a row... I'm killing that meteor. I can't sleep. I swear I can hear it knocking at the back of my mind. Oh, no, wait. That's actually the door. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. The guy who was in charge of this game, didn't he translate all of this himself? He personally oversaw the development in order to make sure that all the dialogue was as witty as possible. Like, it all contained jokes to keep people going. Oh, I don't know. I, like... Earthbound, I know some things about, but it's not the one I know, like, a lot about. Hmm. Ugh. To be fair, most of my knowledge about it is based off of the video that the Happy Video Game Nerd also known as one half of Stop Skeletons from Fighting these days. Um, did on it way back when. I love how that video ends with a plea to actually put the game on places like Virtual Console and whatnot. And he actually updated it with an annotation back when that was still a thing on YouTube. To, le to let people know, hey, Nintendo actually did something about this. Much, much later. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. Certainly wasn't my fault at all. But when my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? No. <laughs> oh, I know what happens. Like, if you keep telling him no, he starts insulting you until you say yes. But, you know, it's one of those, I'm not doing it for your sake. I'm doing it for Picky. Okay, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? <sighs> I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take Maisie along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. I'm a very own natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Sup, Blue? How you doing tonight, buddy? 
Welcome to the chat. Thanks for coming to the stream tonight, even though it's going to be a little bit of a slower show than usual. After all, we started a little bit late, but that was mostly because I was, you know, talking to my mom. Like, just, if you take anything away from the stream tonight, it's just, go do some, uh, go do something special for the, for the mothers in your life right now. Like, to the mom that you've got, and the mother of your children, if that's the type of situation you live in. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You might get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Aw, oh, thanks, sis. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want me to hang on to something? Uh, not right now. Inventory's not a problem yet. It will become one eventually. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Thanks, dog. You know, you want to know what the funny thing is? By her own admission, the dog is kind of unreliable. The dog's still going to be more useful in combat than Pokey is. Pokey's own brother, Picky, is going to be useful, more useful in combat than he is. And Picky does, like, one damage per round. Oh, have you seen about that, uh, band game that, uh, takes place actually right before, uh, I, the bee gets here? I, hmm. I haven't, actually. What's this all about? Yeah, it's, uh... It, it, it's set up to be, like, a, like, uh, a little bit more of a continuation after, uh, Mother Zero. Basically, and, basically it's trying to tie the stories together behind, um, uh, yeah. Earthbound Zero and Earthbound. Yeah. Neat. I wonder if anybody's tried to do the same thing between Mother 2 and Mother 3. People are probably really confused if they don't know anything about this franchise right now. So basically, uh, for those of you who don't know, the Earthbound is actually the second game in a series. It's sort of like how Secret of Mana is actually Seiken Densetsu 2. So, Earthbound, uh, the first game was Mother. It was released in Japan only initially, but it was re-released here in America as Earthbound Zero. Because that's the name we know it by here in the States. Now, uh, that was Mother 1 in Japan. Earthbound is Mother 2. And then there was Mother 3 that was also Japanese exclusive. And unfortunately, that one still is to this very day, despite the fact that it's been fan translated and people have been begging it for it for years. It, it's unsure if that's ever going to be a thing here in America. Odds point to no, considering the historical track record of the company we're dealing with here. But you never know. Oh, like, I've, see, I've seen weirder things get released at this point. I, I feel like it, like if it was released, no one would care anymore. Really? It would be like a day of like, yeah, we did it! And then be like, but you know, we already played this game. Well, okay then. Let's pitch this in another way. What if... What if instead they remade the game? Like, they rebuilt all of the sprites and everything, or maybe they made it 3D or something like that? I think... Give it the Link to the Past treatment, pretty much. Link to the past no, no, wait, 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 wait. Link's Awakening. Sorry, I was thinking of Link Between Worlds. Yeah, bad. like, Link to the Past didn't get a remake. That was a sequel. Uh, I think it would lose its charm. You think so? Like, people like this game because of the sprite art. Hmm. It, like, like, doing, like, like, mo like better models, I think, would cut in. Because, like, people like, like, everything looks, like, super basic and, you know, weird. Hmm. But, man, I would... I would pay an exorbitant amount of money to get re remakes of a lot of the soundtrack of Mother 3. Like the bat, like uh, Fight Against a Mecha Drago. That that is one of my favorite boss tunes of all time. Like has uh, anybody has Smash anybody Brothers. redone that one? Probably. Like I feel like every song from Nintendo game has been redone at least once or twice. 
I know somebody did like a different version of the song once upon a time. They, uh, no, they found an unused version of it. The, uh, in it's basically the exact same song, except every now and again, the beat drops. And I mean like wop 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 kind. I mean like the, it, it goes off beat. And I think because of how critical hits work in that game, it's specifically to screw with people's timing when they're trying to keep a chain going. Which, I guess that would make sense because it's a boss fight. Messing with players in more than one way would actually add... <laughs> it would be appropriate. A B-I-M. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Should I be giving him this very baritone, confident voice? Or should I make him sound like, And in the future, all is devastation. What do you think? Well, th there's no z in there, Fair so you'd just be <laughs> confusing people. Gigas, or Gigas, however you pronounce it, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. Ellipses. However, you must listen. Where I'm from, there's a well-known legend that's been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Ellipses. Gygus' monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gigas. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. Legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Nah, I, I, I just spaced out during the entire thing. Yeah, I listened. Oh, thank you for listening to my long story. You were as exceptional as I expected you to be. Now I have to pee. Don't worry, I'm a fly, so you don't really notice that part. It's basically just a tiny particle in the air. You know when you look at one of those overhead lights and you see all of the thi the things floating through, like little dust particles? Got me to thank for that. Oh, oh, you, you just wild it. <laughs> yes, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. The three boys, he said? Uh, I'm not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, uh, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Does Picky ever make another appearance? I know Porky does. He, he's basically, well, not to give it away for anybody who's here, but we will be seeing this character again. Ness, buddy, I have something to tell you, and only you. Can you come visit me later? Alone? By the way, notice that sound that sound effect that you heard right there? I'll play it again for you. Yeah, that. That's basically, whenever you hear something really important, anything the game wants you to remember for later, you hear that noise. It's something they specifically try to drill into you. It's like, yes, this is exceedingly important. Pay attention to this, because it will be instrumental to your progress later on. I've actually never seen the full ending of that. I've heard about it, but this is another one of those games. I love it like Chrono Trigger, but I've never actually beaten it before. Earthbound might be the game I start playing after we beat Chrono Trigger, just so that I can see the ending of it finally. Complete my love for the game. It's still... Oh. Go ahead. Well, both games are also uh, games that you don't have to really grind in. Mm, yes. So we can just play through it from beginning to end, just fighting whatever's in our way, and we'll have enough experience to deal with everything. Are you going to do the... Oh, which version of uh, Crown Trigger are you playing? Uh, oh, I am, I am playing the SNES version. I am okay. not. I am not playing the DS version with the two extra endings. No, wait. Isn't it only one ending? 
Yeah, it's one extra ending and two extra dungeons. Okay. Interesting. The most complete version of the game. I wonder if Buzz Buzz can actually land a critical hit. Oh, also, uh, give Starman his voice. I don't know what kind of voice I should give him. Like, he looks very robotic, so I wasn't sure if I should give him, like, the robot voice. Like, the Microsoft Sam voice. No, that's what I was saying. You could do the voice. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. What a name, Buzz Buzz. What do you think he looked like before he became a bug? Ah, uh, who knows? Also, can Maybe. we talk about how Buzz Buzz basically came back in time to help us power level? And beat up enemies that are way out of our weight class so that we can get stronger and take on the final boss faster. I... The, do you just want him to do an Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. <laughs> Don't like your neighbor's car? Blow it up. I got a bunch of gummy bears you're not doing anything with? Just blow them the fuck up. I love that that was an Omaze campaign that he did. I think it was called Blow Shit Up with Arnold Schwarzenegger. You told that like your neighbor? Well, don't blow them up. That's a crime. <laughs> Pokey, you don't like pizza, do you? Too bad. I love the sass our mom has. Like, she's not gonna put up with this kid's shit. <laughs> well, I guess my son will just have to eat all of it by himself then. More for you, my, gr my hungry growing boy. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. I'm really sorry that my kids troubled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. So that sound effect is actually different in the Japanese version of the game. Like, that sound effect is supposed to communicate that he was just yelling at them. But uh, this sound, the sound effect in the original made it sound more like it was a, what's the right word? Corporal punishment is the death penalty. Um, basically, they were having a hand-to-bottom conversation, is the way I think my dad would put it. By the way, I could strike it. by the way, I would be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. Maybe a hundred thousand dollars or more. Well, I guess it really could have been less, but because of the loan, my family and I now live in poverty. My husband is much too lenient with the children. Oh well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. I, I think it's a dung beetle! I'll smash your guts out! Buzz Buzz, no! Uh, I Ow. was much Be back. weaker than I... Th I was much weaker th than I thought. So now you must begin your adventure. See you. I think they wanted me to give the Terminator voice to the Starmen instead of Buzz Buzz, but I think this also works really well. Oh, I just remembered. And listen to my final words. Also, sup, Lee? Welcome to the chat. How are you doing tonight? To defeat Gigas, your own power must unite with the Earth. The Earth would then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is... Your sanctuary. One of them is near on that. It's called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? All right. You're a very intelligent young man and... Oh! And the pain! Everything is getting dark. Before I press on, 
I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone, but did you want to hear this story one more time? No. Good. It's already dawn outside. But it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah! <gasps> Goodbye, Buzz Buzz. He wasn't even around for that long, and he still left such an impact on us. Now, I'd, I kind of wonder how he was able to carry that thing with him all this time, but considering that everybody in this game has eight inventory slots to work with no matter what, I'm just going to chalk that up to convenient game logic. Just imagine, what else did he have on him at the time? Like the high-end healing items and whatnot. Hey, butterfly. I don't think I need it, but... Alright, oh, I forgot about this dude! Right! Pictures taken instantaneously! I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Do you want some mother trivia? Sure. Actually, I'd be down for that. <coughs> Nintend is the only mother protagonist to never show up as a playable character in Super Smash Brothers Brawl. This is true, although Ness does have a color scheme that is very reminiscent of Nintend. They've kind of, like, retconned Nintend's look to look a lot like Ness anyways. Hmm. In, like, the re-release, so... That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. How many attacks is this thing gonna dodge? Good Ness lord. Ness is the only main protagonist in the Mother series to not normally have the run ability. Yeah, that is, uh... Remember how I said that Earthbound is a great game, but it's not perfect? That's one of the things that I hold against it. It's basically the lack of a run button and the very, very small inventory space. Those are the only two things I, I think that Earthbound doesn't do right. Maybe there's more, but I won't remember them until we get a little further. Oh, and the fact that the game is... Uh, it leans a little hard on the difficulty early on. You'll notice Ness I'm taking a lot more damage than I would at the beginning of most other RPGs. Do you know why? There's actually a thing from Smash Brothers uh, Brawl that explains why Ness can use PK Star Store. Really? In one of the trophies, it states, Who taught Ness the secret of the attack to you? So he, Pooh, who knows PK Star Store, taught him... Uh, Ness, how do you speak a star store? Interesting. You can glitch it so Buzz Buzz never dies and that you never get Buzz Buzz. Interesting. Huh. I may really uh, want to see uh, you to see Buzz Buzz. Interesting. Uh, an interesting, uh, this is interesting, but you probably already know it. The yo-yo ability and the SBSP ability from Kirby are based on Ness. I'm just uh, I'm just gonna take a second to show this to people. So that's what Buzz Buzz actually looks like, which it makes sense, like according to the concept art, and it makes sense. Like that's a beetle that is native to Japan, so you draw from what you know. However. I think it's the face. The face is what really sells it. The, those just tiny little eyes staring off into the distance. Like he's putting on a brave smile. But those eyes, they communicate a man who has seen far too much of the horrors of an evil, like, cosmic horror. Anyway. Ness is implied by, by several NPCs to be overweight. Really? Yes. The Onet, a cop in Onet, 
and the bus dr- calls him fat, and the bus driver calls him chubby. Huh. But it's mentioned during the epilogue that he's lost weight. Oh, I see, because he's been walking all over the place and exercising by beating up enemies. Yes. I'm doing this because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. Ah, uh, I can tell by the look on your face that you don't want to hang out, do you? Oh, that's alright. After all, we're not even related. I know you think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. I, I don't want to go down into the creepy basement of this guy that I barely know, who invited me to his house only when I was specifically all alone. Ness is the only main protagonist to have a weapon for his first fight. Hmm. How much tunnel did you dig, liar? Or maybe it's French and it's actually pronounced Lear. So, Ness, buddy, I found proof of a great treasure. A huge haul. Yeah, <laughs> I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Did you ever play the snoo? I have gotten kind of far into it. The highest I've ever gotten in this game is level 28, I believe. I don't believe I've ever recruited Pooh to the party, but I have seen Jeff. So that's as far as I've gotten in Earthbound before. If this is a sign of what lies below, I just need a little time. My destiny is to find and dig up the buried treasure. I'll eat garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. The statue right here. Different version of the sound effect that we heard before. This is going to become something important, as I understand it, but it's not going to happen for a long, long time. Earthbound is another one of those things. Back in the era of my teenage years, when I would just go onto YouTube to look up final boss videos of random games that I had never finished before, well, I looked up the final boss for Earthbound as one of them, so I know what that looks like. It's like most things. I know how it begins and I know how it ends, but everything in between is a giant question mark for me. I have no idea what's going on with all that, so definitely looking forward to seeing that tonight. So welcome to the chat, Zippy. Game taught the kids the wrong lessons. <laughs> a little bit. Nintendo is the is the uh, protagonist who has the most relatives. Hmm. Ness has three relatives. Okay. Lucas has four. And Nintendo well, either has had six. four. At the beginning of that game, he has four relatives. <laughs> and Nintendo could have either six or seven, if hmm. you count Guy Gas. Because he was adopted mm. by his hmm. by his great grand like grandparents. So in turn, Guy Gas could be Nintendo's great uncle. Oh, by the way, uh, we've actually got seven people watching right now, so now it seems like a good time to drop this in the chat. You don't have to interact with what just happened there, but if you do, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you all for being here, by the way. It seems a lot more people. I probably should have seen this coming a long time ago, but a lot of people show up for... A lot of people show up for the Chrono Trigger streams, and a lot of people are showing up for this stream, so... Is this a sign? Should I just become a retro streamer and catch up on all the games that I never got to try out when I was a kid? Because there's a surprising amount of the SNES library that I've never gotten to try, despite the fact that it's one of my absolute favorite consoles ever. In the release trailer for Earthbound Beginning, Nintendo's figure has no... <laughs> No fingers. Huh. This is also a scene in his the trophies slash stickers of him. <laughs> so he may never have had gone fingered. He could be a lobster boy. <laughs> uh Nintendo in the Mother Encyclopedia, Nintendo is a big fan of baseball and a big fan of the San Diego, uh San Francisco uh Giants. He received his hat as a gift from his father. Huh. The more you know. 
Nintendo is called Ken in the novelization of the game. This is due to Nintendo not having an official name at the time when it was written. Ah, uh, one of those situations. That's happened a couple times in no, video it, games. No, it gets even better. The name didn't... The name Nintendo didn't actually get confirmed officially until Brawl. Wow. Because of the novel and the name Nintendo taking many years to confirm, he's been known to Ken to so many Japanese fans. They call me... Tim. <clears throat> Sorry, I love this line here. The library's a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. This is just reminding me of Spaceballs, where they look forward, they have a VHS of the movie, and they fast forward it to see where the heroes are next. It's like, what if I could go to the library in this game and just rent a strategy guide for Earthbound? What if that was the uh, way of enabling easy mode? Like, if that that was just an in-game way of, it, of implementing a different type of difficulty. Is you just went to the library and it had a strategy game for the game that you are playing. Sorry, strategy guide for the game you're playing. Two G words in rapid succession. I apologize. Now time for some Lucas uh, trivia. He is the only main character to not have a sister. Hamburger. Hamburger. Yeah, actually. Yeah. I never thought of that. I love, like, completely useless bits of trivia. How, like, Falco is one of only two characters that in the entirety of the Star Fox universe that doesn't wear gloves. The other being Crystal. Learned that when I was making a list that actually... Oh, I forget which countdown it was now, but it actually mentioned Star Fox at some point. Where do we go next? I needed to pick up the map, and then... Ah, shoot. Do we try to go pick a fight with... With Johnny already? And his gang? No, they're too strong. I need to get I need to hit level four first. Cause they're not gonna let me into the cave until I actually have the key to the shed, right? E. It's been way too long. Oh right, but I also want to go to secret uh secret fort here. Because they give me a pretty nice piece of equipment here. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. I'd like to go on an adventure with you once I become a little stronger. You would know what would have been a really cool detail? Is if when he gave you the base, uh, the uh, the Mr. Baseball cap, his sprite changed so that, he, so that he wasn't wearing a hat anymore. Like, maybe I'm asking a little much with that one, but... Lucas is, uh, is, is the only character, main character of Earthbound, who does not look like Ness or Nintendo. Hmm. It's actually his brother Klaus, who's the, who closely resembles them, except for the orange hair and the hmm. lack of baseball hat. Yeah. How much money do I need again to get really good equipment at this point? I think it's... I think I need close to 200 bucks. Yeah, I need to hit level 4 and have about $200 in the bank. And then I will be able to get absolutely... I, I will be able to hold my own against Johnny and his gang. The voice actress for uh, Lucas in Super Smash Bros. Brawl is the voice actor for all regions. Hmm. Yeah, that and makes sense. I can see that. Lucas's name is an anagram for Klaus. Hmm. Oh, I I never caught that. It's sort of like, well, hmm. I uh, I'm gonna DM this one to you. 
because I still don't like spoiling this game for people. But I still want to bring it up. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. Under, Undertale likes to rip off things from <laughs> from Earthbound. That's been well, pretty well apparent. Well, nothing, nothing's original anymore. Yeah, it's just a matter of take. Like I always tell this to people. Like it's okay if you want to tell like that kind of story. It's okay if you want to tell any kind of story. As long as you put enough of yourself into it and make it your own, it's fine. You do you. Create the things you want to create. Which, again, I have to put the asterisk on that one. Unless you're one of those guys who created the games that actually got removed from Steam. In which case, you, you can find another field. Nobody's gonna miss it. Technically, Lucas is a talking protagonist. He talks in Chapter 1 and 2, but he's not playable at that point. You're and right. He, he also pe repeats what the pig mess say in Chapter 5 while you are playing as him. He also speaks recursion words to some boulders in Chapter 7. It's sort of like uh, Jeff in this game, where while you're controlling him, he doesn't say a word. But as soon as you take control of Ness again, he starts, uh, he starts using dialogue like normal. Lucas is the... Only, uh, I'm gonna say Earthbound protagonist who does whose primary weapon is not a baseball bat. Lee's bringing up a good point. We probably shouldn't spoil Mother Three. Like I know it's been out for a while, but still. Like I, 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 I didn't spoil Mother. Okay. What, what did I, did I spoil? I don't know. I probably spoiled something. This is probably my fault because I made uh, I made a sly comment about things and stuff earlier. No. <clears throat> Didn't want to buy that. I thought that was the cancel button. Uh... Oh, he said we didn't. Just, just he just wanted us to try to avoid it. Uh, man, if I could get that bracelet, it'd be amazing right now. Because this is one of those games where every single point counts. Where every single point of attack and defense means a tremendous amount. Every little upgrade you can get your hands on is worth getting in this game. Okay. We could do a little bit more fighting, I think. Uh, anyways. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> it's like the Sunday streams are always a little awkward, because we just got done with all the news on Saturday. So, it's not like, hey, how about the weather? <laughs> What's going on in the video game industry right now? L let us discuss local sports team. I also enjoy local sports team. They are uh, the best and, su and superior to everyone else's local sports team. I saw Detective Pikachu. Ooh. I have not yet. That's going to be... Uh, we're going to make a thing of that on Tuesday. What's your verdict on that one? It is okay. It's a good movie. It's pretty funny. Uh, okay. The plot is predictable. Mm, yeah, I was afraid of that. You can call you can call the major twists literally from the beginning. Yeah, I had a feeling. Well, it doesn't help that they showed off a very particular Pokemon in some of the trailers. Uh, you learn about him within the first like ten minutes. Oh, I see. That's okay, not. Here's what I need to know: Is Team Rocket involved in any way? No. Really? This is the so they have region. a different explanation for that. It's the Sinnoh region. Uh, oh. Oh, I didn't catch that. So we actually, ah. Uh. 
Sinnoh. That was Gen 4, if I recall correctly? Yes. Okay, so that would make it Team Galactic if there is an evil team. There is not. There is not. Okay, so something else is going on here. Uh, I, I just I just want to see Ludicolo in 3D. <laughs> this is uh, this is a I would say a slight spoiler. It's not going to spoil anything too much, but they do say that Mewtwo in this story has dis like was around, but he disappeared 20 years ago. Ah, okay. For unknown it, reasons. No, implying 20 years ago was the start of the first Pokemon movie. Oh. Because he escaped from Kanto. Interesting. So this is where he ended up after that. Like, after yeah. that whole situation with Ash and crew. Or it's, or the, it's more connected to the games and after, you know, the stuff with Red. I see. So here's, uh, here's my question. Like, which canon are we following here? Is Red a character in this universe? Is Ash a character in this universe? We don't know. Like, it keeps itself pretty well contained. Wait, if it's if it's in an actual region, do we meet any of the quote-unquote celebrities from that region? Like, do we see any gym leaders or any of the members of the Elite no, Four? No, because it takes place all in a fictional city. Oh. Well, even more fictional, like, a hey, please do not steal fictional city <laughs> in, uh... The Sinnoh region. Oh, all right. I'm Rafini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. You see Ooh. the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? <laughs> PP. When you go to the store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you're allowed to equip an item, and it is stronger than your- Okay, I they know all of this. I just wanted to show Rafini the dog, because he's kind of infamous uh, uh, amongst players. Because it's, lo it's like, look, we're just gonna drop all the pretense. This is me as the developer directly telling you this. Like, ple please use this particular function. Oh my goodness, I'm so close to the bracelet right now. I don't know if you get one just out of a treasure chest or something in this game, or a present, sorry. Gotta stay on brand here. It's not a fantasy game, and that's part of why people remember this game so well. It's a little bit of a missed opportunity. I mean, I know all of the creatures are there. Okay, then here's one other question I have. Without telling me what they are, are there any creatures that show up that are not in the trailers? Yes. Okay, because that's that's going to be part of the fun of this movie is just seeing which of them did they actually render and go through the trouble of designing, you know? A uh, fucking lot. Really? Yeah. One of those, like, if you watch it twice, you could still see new things in the background that you didn't notice before? Uh, maybe, but it's a lot of it is in your face. Hmm, okay. Lordy Carlo! Right, this is another reason I love Earthbound. It showed off a little earlier, but if you encounter an enemy that the game recognizes you can reliably beat on the first turn, it just skips the battle entirely and just gives you the experience and items. It's like, we're not even going to waste your time by making by sending you a battle screen. It's just like, move on your merry way. I think the only other game that does that is the Persona series? No, there has to be another one at this point, because it's such a good idea, and it was so widely praised when this game came out. Also, sup, Pillow Slitter? Welcome to the chat. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, I guess. <laughs> That's a... Little offensive, but okay. I don't know what that is. Because <laughs> he has Asper. Oh! Oh. I, I didn't realize that was a term. I've I've been I've had the affliction my entire life, and I never knew that. Also, I am running out of inventory space. I ca I cannot fit all of these cookies into my mouth. I am drowning in sweets. 
Uh, we need to make that uh, uh, just a, a new shirt. Uh, I can't fit all these cookies in my mouth. <laughs> and then the, the people will do their edits of you saying the word dick and then splice it in. It's like, I can't fit all these dicks in my mouth. I, I love that somebody... I was looking up uh, pictures once upon a time, like, just going to a listicle website and looking up, like, what are some of the worst video game cover arts of all time? One of them was for one of the FIFA games, and the guy said, okay, admittedly, this isn't that bad. It's like the guy going, like, yeah, that kind of thing. If you look at it from the side, it's like, yeah. Oh, oh no, but because Parasite, of the but playing. because of the position of his hand, it's just like you know you want to edit something into that dude's hand. Here, I've even gone ahead and I've done it for you. And he just like MS painted a really lazy, like black phallic looking thing in there, and he wrote in like Comic Sans font dildo on it. Oh, like uh, don't worry, <laughs> you did nothing wrong, uh, Pillow Slider. It's just. It's just like, it's just kind of like, I, I have nowhere. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Didn't expect it? Like it was a little out of character? Yeah. It, kind of, because my chat's usually not like that. I mean, occasionally we get the wa the periodic wanderer in here who just tries to say things and get a rise out of me, despite the fact that I'm 30 years old now and I fucking know better. <laughs> It's like, you, you, they only have power if you give them power, is the thing. As long, if you ignore, like, the people who are trying to start up trouble, if you just don't give them any reaction at all, it's not fun anymore. It's like, that's the whole point of doing that, is that you... Oh, nice. I actually use the post-battle invincibility to get free battle there. That has to be enough. That's gotta be enough money to get the bracelet now. Gotta be. Gotta be. Watch it not be, and then I'll be really sad. Oh! Uh, <laughs> nice shot. Uh, you probably say something about it being the failure of the game design. Well, we, ab we had to abandon the cookie. That That's cookie a bad just... cookie. <laughs> Grew up in the wrong part of the neighborhood. That's a Jersey cookie. <laughs> it's Joyzy. Let me tell you something. The cookies we got around here are hard. Like, literally. They've been sitting in the sun for about three days now. If you don't pay attention, boom, bam, boom. They stab you in your sleep. You could, in fact, say they are very sharp cookies. If they have the potential to actually stab you like that. You know you could, if you were a fucking tool. I would like to buy... No, not that. You know what the sad part is? Had I not bought that cold remedy, I would actually have... Had enough money to buy the bracelets sooner. Yes, I will equip it. Because that's a full five defense points, and trust me, that's going to become incredibly important here soon. Because some of the some of the enemies we're gonna fight here very very soon are they, they hit like a freaking truck. One of them is practically a truck, or at least he's built like one anyway. I am Truckio. Lord of Trucks. Peanut Brittle can stab you. You know what the yeah. you know what the sad thing is? The only way somebody discovers that is through personal experience. No, it's you you eat peanut brittle one time and you're like, wow, like, if I don't eat this correctly, I'm gonna fucking stab myself. It's like eating treacle for the first time. Like treacle is amazing. Don't get me wrong, but it will destroy your teeth in more than one way. It it will uh it will ruin your dental hygiene any dental hygiene plans you may have had, and it will also uh it is the sweetest thing you will ever eat. Like treacle is pure evil and I love it. Uh I feel like every time the the 
the Pogo Boys show up, I feel like you're you're like like a minute from getting like shut down. What? The the character models. Oh. Oh yeah. They black, uh, really big red lips. They didn't. Wow. Yeah. They didn't change that. I just realized that even when they re-released the game, they were still that exact that exact sprite. That's interesting. Throw your ATM card at them. Y'all need Jesus. This is also why the skate punks are incredibly dangerous, because they just summon more pogo punks. They just summon more people from the gang, and you can get overwhelmed unbelievably quickly. Earthbound is a game where you have to plan two turns in advance. Because if you try to do what you do in most RPGs, where it's just like, oh, my health is kind of low, I'm just going to heal myself, the enemy is probably going to outspeed you and do enough damage to result in a game over. And this is why I didn't get rid of all my cookies. Because outside of battle, I can just scarf them all down and recover some HP. I'm going to lead you far away from your friends. Like, real far away, so this can be on an even keel here. Ugh. I hate it hate accuracy in turn-based games. Always will. No matter how many games go by, I, I will never abide by the concept of you putting in all that time and effort into your into the strategy that you're bringing to battle, and then just everything goes to shit due to no fault of your own. Most of the time it is your fault. How so? Like, there's no way for me to control accuracy. It just kind of decides on its own when I hit and when I don't. You know there's accuracy in action RPGs, right? You can still miss in those, too. There's accurate But at that point, that you. is your fault. Like, at that no, no, point, no, no. because you didn't you attack at this exact moment, you didn't study the enemy enough to know when you'll actually be able to hit them. Nope. No. In KOTOR, you can go up to the enemy, be right in front of them, and still miss. Well, that's... Every... E that's even but that's not stupider! That's even stupider! Because physically, you're in the same place! You don't even so, have the abstraction of, like, uh, it's just uh, an attack animation that hits them. Uh, your character isn't even on there. No, I am right in front of the guy, so how did I still miss? Reminds me of Alpha Protocol. Uh, you remember that spy game that came out on the 360 a long time ago? How you can directly headshot a guy with a sniper rifle, but it leans too much on the RPG aspect, so he's just like, what was that noise? Are you going to start complaining about uh, uh, XCOM now, too? <laughs> Point blank with a shotgun. 63% chance to hit. Seems legit, right? I still like the, like the videos of, like, like right in front, they point the gun, and then they just turn to the right and shoot the ground a few times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, RPGs. Your piece is a shit, but I love you at the same time. <laughs> eh, 15 bucks should be enough to stay in a hotel, right? They'll let That's me stay funny. the whole night for that. That stay will cost you... It, it, it actually truly depends on how, yeah, how bad the RNG is. Mm. I, I feel like most RPGs have decent RNG where you're just like, yeah, if you, like, <laughs> where you're, like, going, uh, 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 and, like, you're just like, oh, I've been missing for 37 hits. It's either RNG R R Jesus hates you, or you're just not as strong as you think you are. Hmm. Good morning, sir. Here's your free copy of the morning newspaper. Here's today's headlines in the Onet Times. 
Mysterious meteorite north of Onet still burning brightly. Oh, yeah, so, but it's missing its most important occupant. So you know how uh, Blood just got a re-release? Yeah, I know. you posted something about it being incomplete or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is in the action menu there is a thing to turn off a glitch that was from the original game. Hmm. When you turn that on, it makes enemies unable to do one of their significant power attacks. Hmm. Because the like Zippy mentioned, the cultists can switch between shotgunning you and throwing TNT. If you turn that on, this like glitch thing, like on, it makes them unable to throw the dynamite. They will never do it. Well, I mean, that game's way harder than it should be anyway, so maybe this isn't a bad thing? No, people like that. Hmm. It's because, like, when you go on higher difficulties, you want the game to be hard, and that's when, like, the cultists will, like, start barraging you a little bit with it. So, like, it's kind of stupid that a thing to fix a glitch caused another entirely different glitch to happen. Hmm. Oh, best laid plans of mice and men, right? Like, you can sequence break the game too because the physics engine is different too. Hmm. Did they have to rebuild the entire game from the ground up? One of those situations where they didn't have the source code anymore, or...? No, that, that source code's been out for a while. Oh, I see. All right, because you can use it in GZ Doom, too. Quick, say something that will always start a fight. I'm gonna say the N-word. No, other than that. <laughs> other than that. <laughs> the, the response I was going for there was, Hey, you guys want to fight? Uh <laughs> Rock Pizza on that branch. Wow, Ouija is not a good character. <laughs> I'm actually just not a big fan of Hyperdimension Neptunia. No, oh, that's fine. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I respect Never. I respect your opinions. Remember, that is not why I argued with you. <laughs> Remember, I argued with you because you said, Final Fantasy XIII is a better game than it. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Like, I, it's been so long since I've played either of them, I'd have to, like, compare them side by side again. I don't know where it stands on that one anymore. It's been too long, there's too much distance, and I've blocked most of it from my memory. Yeah, Final Fantasy XIII is really bad. Like, really bad. Are you ready to get it on, Spanky? I love the dialogue in this game. That. Please never say that statement ever again. <laughs> Tell that to this guy. He's being creepy. I'm hitting him with a baseball bat for his creepiness. Like, Zippy, I, like, I can't call a game meh when it literally has betrayed everything the previous games have tried to set up. Also, the story is literally retarded, and one of the main characters is a pedophile. Oh. Oh, wait. I forgot about that. Oh, right, because what's-her-name is technically 17 at the start of the game oh that's uncomfortable yeah yeah it's such a gray area because if that's the kind of story you want to tell you need to deal with the ramifications of it like i've heard stories of uh, in real life of people being like, hey, I'm interested, but you're not old enough, so I'm willing to wait for you. Like, that kind of stance is actually kind of respectable. Like, if, if it's a mutual yeah, thing, if it's a mutual thing, like, she wants it too. 
thank you for coming in, Ryza, and getting us off of a very uncomfortable topic that I'm sure nobody wants to hear any more about. Also, for, uh, 16 months, Jesus, dude. Thank you so much. The whole pedo hate thing is overrated. Zippy, I want you to look back over that statement and th think about it a little bit. That's all I'm going to say on that one. <laughs> Anyways, so, moving right along. Local sports team, am I right? My dad thinks I'm working too hard in this game. I mean, he might be right. I am trying to take down an entire gang by myself. The, that, the, Zippy... Just because it's in a, it, they're fictional characters, not mean. It's not creepy. I think I'm strong enough at this point to actually take on three of these guys, because I've gotten so many game overs at the hands of the, uh, Frank's gang, that I haven't. Uh, that I'm really, really iffy about fighting multiple ones at once. I'm always really... Oh, that is way too many of those dudes. I know I can't handle four at a single time. I'll see you later, Ryza. Thanks for popping in, dude. It's always appreciated. I'm always happy to see you guys. Zippy. Please, I am telling- I am desperately pleading with you to drop this line of thought right now. It's been a year or so since I've handed a timeout to somebody, but I will not hesitate. Like, please stop. Anyways. Moving on. Definitively this time. Do you have any more uh, Earthbound trivia for us? I, I went for most of the interesting ones. All the other ones are, like, they're very basic stuff, nothing really hyper interesting. One of the more ones that I can talk about is, like, you would have to get to that sequence later on in the game for me to talk about it. Okay. Oh, I see, because I haven't actually... Right. Oh, that's cool, thank you. Thank you for considering that, that I've never actually beaten this game before. All right, uh, what are we working with right now? We've got our optimized equipment at the moment. We're level six. I can remember needing to be like level seven or so, but we've got life up and we've got hypnosis. I forget which enemy you can use who, I forget which enemy is super weak to hypnosis. I know a status ability that, if you level up enough, there's a status ability you can get that can just wreck the day of a boss we'll be fighting soon. But I don't remember the details on that one. Uh, if only I had an Earthbound expert in the chat with me right now. Ellipses. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least see a name? Sorry, I'm a little dedicated to this whole silent, silent protagonist thing. Also, I can't post this on YouTube now because I'll get nailed by copyright, apparently. Johnny, be good. But this is a really good tune, and this isn't the only time it shows up, either. That's low enough HP. I think I can use life up here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I meant when I say you need to think a turn ahead. Had I waited until I was within kill range, it would have backfired horribly on me. Failproof Frank can't be beaten. <laughs> and this is Frankie Stein Mark II. Well, if I can't beat you with my own two hands, I'll just use a freaking tank on you. I just love that there's a gang whose entire attack strategy is that he's building an actual army. Like, military devices here created a battle robot in the backyard of the arcade. <laughs> hey, don't mess with Frankie. I 
I know this thing also has an ability where he just quote unquote tears into you. So I mm, threw a punch. Okay. Life up. Careful. Be real freaking careful. I think we don't want to go under 30 HP in this fight. Oh, not that it matters because he never even used his super strong attack. Woo! We're on kind of a good run so far in terms of stats. Like, we, we started the game out with an oh baby on our attack up. So, we're actually hitting way stronger than we would be otherwise. This is my first defeat. Fail-proof Frank is now just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there. That allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. And it's difficult to get to Giant Step. That's all I know. I suggest, I suggest you collect more information on your own. The entrance to the path leading the Giant Step is behind the Touring Entertainer's Shack. Uh, Perkle, the mayor on that, has a key to the shack. <laughs> Ness, you become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. <laughs> He's kind of respectable in his defeat. And look at that, his entire gang is just like, somebody runs up to me to try and challenge, and then he realizes it's me, and he's just like, uh, uh, yeah, walks away. Good luck again. Oh, right, I forgot about that fight. That's coming up soon, isn't it? Yeah, that's a thing that's going to happen in a bit. I remember... I don't remember that fight being too bad. Because at that point, you're actually kind of leaning into your build, as it were. You've leveled up enough and you have enough tools to where it's not awful, but... Let's see, where's Town Hall again? There's the hospital. Right, up and left, okay. I I love the logic in this universe. Just the whole, is your friend suffering from an acute case of death? Bring him by the hospital, we can fix it. I just want Ness to get hit by a bus. Yeah, I... I don't think that's a thing that can happen. The car will stop just before it, like, actually runs you over. I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It just may take me a couple of hours to sign this paper. <laughs> you can go to jail for that. Oh, aren't you Ness? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. <laughs> I'm not gonna read that out. I know I'll you say you ask before you join. Oh it's it's fine. it's fine. Well in this case I was busy, that's the only reason why I didn't join the stream at the start. No, it's Mother's Day. Like I don't hold it against people. If they have better things to do than to watch me play video games, I <laughs> I I do not blame them at all. Uh, it was less than more. I had like three streams going on at once, and I. Ugh. Don't worry. Someday I'll get big enough that I'm at the top of people's priority lists. Well, normally you are. It was just a case of, you know. You're never going to be salty, Ben. <laughs> but I can try, damn it! I, this is uh, this is the police chief, isn't it? I like to imagine he's just forcing himself to smile because he's in the presence of the mayor. Thank you so much for all of your help. Thank you for undermining my police force. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. So nice to meet you. You beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. Then you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. Uh, what? You want a key to the touring entertainer's shack? Oh, for someone as great as you, giving you the key could help keep the town peaceful. Uh, whoa. Hello. 
You all right? Excuse me. Remember to mute your mic. Testing, testing, one, two. Can everybody hear me properly? Hello? Guys? Oh no, suddenly I'm alone. One of them left and the other fell down a hole. Well, I guess if we encounter a dangerous situation, we can't ask this guy to take any responsibility. I'll, uh, I'll be able to avoid any responsibility. Right. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, you're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. <clears throat> I didn't give this to you if anybody asks. Ness got the key to the... <laughs> back to the shack. I wish I could remember the rest of the lyrics to that song, because it's actually one of my favorite Weezer tunes. Take me back. Back to the shack. Back to where the... Oh, it's escaping me right now. I haven't listened to it in too long. What's a song you really like, but you barely remember anything about it? You guys have anything like that? And I realize that's probably one of those questions where if you try to bring up something off the top of your head, you're just racking your brain. It's like, nah, nothing's coming to mind, man. I'm drawing a complete and total blank on that one. What do I need right now? Do I need to heal up at all? Is Ness all right? This is actually all right, but I should probably call home. A lot all of people. Right, sorry about that. Hey, welcome back. Hello, Ness. So, how's your adventure going? Hmm, I see. Sounds like you're having some tough times then. Your teacher dropped by looking for you. Uh, don't worry, I covered for you. Everything's fine here. You just keep on trucking. Well, my soap opera is getting to a really steamy part, so I'd better let you go. Bye. Fun fact about Earthbound, if you don't call home enough, you actually get a status effect called Homesick, which oh, eats God, up some of your actions sometimes. Oh god, it's the worst. It's actually a really cool character moment, and it takes so long for it to trigger. Like, you have to actively not be calling home at all for a long time. Like, I think you could go through the entirety of Onet, and it won't happen until a little bit after you leave, so it's very generous. But yeah, Mom realizes we're on a journey to go save the entire world, so she covers for us, like, keeps coming up with ex- Oh, Jesus. What the fuck was that? I think that was Dio picking up his, uh, his mic again. I think you have to talk to this guy here first. No, no, we're good. Yeah. We, we picked up the key from the mayor. Great, it's been a while since I've played this part of the game since I've been doing my own playthrough. Yeah, it a while is ago. it is one of those games. Admittedly, my only real gripe I've had with this game playing it has really been that limited inventory. Other than that, it's a fantastic little RPG. Because things get freaking disorganized quick. I might have to mute Dio here for a little bit. No. Oh? Okay, we're good no. now? Now loud. Okay. And I'm allowed? I'm the admin of this Discord server. Did you tell me nope. what I can't Sorry. do? Nope, now loud. I'm, I'm muting you now. <laughs> I forgot that you actually have that power. You could actually mute me in the call and then I'd be talking to myself. So you guys would be getting commentary and you'd be saying shit behind my back, but I wouldn't be able to hear it. <laughs> now, oh, now, no. everybody get along. I don't want to have a mutiny between all of the all of the mods right now. Don't make me mute Coops now. <laughs> and Sonic Coop. This is a rare situation. We have multiple mods here for the stream at once. Like, that usually doesn't happen. Maybe I have, like, one or two. Maybe I have, like, one if I'm lucky. But <laughs> never two. This is unusual. We have a surprising amount of protection when nobody's showing up to make trouble. Spread the word. I need some randos in here who, is who are going to try to start shit. Okay. 
Oh, God, the Antoids. These actually can be a bit of a pain. Yeah, these guys hit pretty hard for the point in the game where you encounter them. Like, this is the one... This is another thing about Earthbound. It doesn't pull punches. Like, if I if I had to equate it in terms of difficulty to other turn-based RPGs, it actually... It's on the same level as something like Shin Megami Tensei. I'm not even kidding. Like, it, it will actually kick your ass if you're not careful. Though, admittedly, having played it myself, like, I guess... I can tell there is much worse in this game. Mm. Oh, it no, there, totally there's cool. much there's much worse. There are in definitely the games out there that are more difficult. Hell, take all you gotta do is look back on its predecessor, you can see that. <laughs> Mother 1 is pretty difficult. I can point you to certain Pokemon fan, uh, like ROM hacks, that are an absolute pain. Some people, it's a very, Pokemon is a very difficult game to balance, I've learned. Because the official company makes it way too easy, and whenever fans try to balance it out and give themselves enough of a challenge, it ends up being way too difficult. There, there just doesn't seem to be a middle ground out there where it's just right. It's either ball busting or child's play. There's not really a middle ground where everybody's happy. I just imagine, uh, uh, PK, uh, gaming is you just, like, you're just launching a bag of fucking Doritos <laughs> at the, like, the mouse. Well, it's a psychic attack, so Ness is probably, it's probably the most meta version of the psychic attack, because Ness is probably visualizing it in his head, of just like smashing somebody on in front of him with all of these cool crazy effects and that's how it manifests itself as in real life what if all of these effects are actually what these psychic users are seeing like whenever they get into battle the world just changes around them because they have different mental faculties that we don't who knows maybe the world does look completely different to them than it does to us because the fundamental way of how they process all that information has traits that we don't have. Or maybe I'm just grossly overthinking this. I think you're grossly overthinking. <laughs> Still, it's a fun concept. Maybe I'll implement that in something one of these days. You know, assuming I actually remember it after the stream, because, you know, in one ear, out the other when it comes to this. That's basically what stream commentary is, is you just say the first thing that comes to mind, and then you let other people commit it to their memories. Oh, that hack Bob Ross is streaming. Doesn't even talk to his chat. Shit tier streamer. Oh, thank goodness. I'm at the point where I can kill the Antoids in one shot. You enjoying those chips? Yes. You want me to mute myself? No, you're... Well, I mean, just don't chew directly into the mic, and you should be good. It's like, um... Well, at least tell me what brand you're eating so that I can get really hungry and wish I had some. Dorados. Hmm. Yeah, I wish I had some. I know it's a stereotype, but I like them too. <laughs> they're still delicious, even if the even if they're associated with gaming culture. I still haven't tried Game Fuel yet. I saw it in Walmart the other day, and I was like, should I? No. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick some up for the Wednesday stream because we will be playing either Don't Starve Together or Gmod if I have enough people show interest in that one. Because after the Hat and Time stream, I am way more open to the idea of, yeah, I want there to be more chaotic, open multiplayer streams where we just do a bunch of dumb shit. Where everybody's just messing around and they teach me things about the game, like soft lock me in cutscenes and whatnot. What the hell? Were you not there for that? 
No, well, you I was were. there for that. You were there for the end of the stream. You actually saw how the guy, like, smacked me with the umbrella while I was in the middle of the cutscene with the Snatcher, and so I couldn't progress the dialogue anymore. No, unfortunately, I didn't get to see that part because that was around the time I streamed decided to be a bitch. Mm. Well, nothing we can do about that now, right? No sense being bent out of shape. Hey, at least you're here for this one, right, Pillow Sledder? Silver linings and all that. And it's like, you take care of you, man. Like, wor work is a thing you need to have confidence and security in your life. To build up that that hammock you can fall back on just in case the ground falls out from underneath you. Like, that financial fallback. So, f peace of mind is a beautiful thing. So, you you take care of you. Don't worry about me. There will always be more streams, so I'll be here whenever you get back. Who dies in a fatal uh, heart attack? Don't, don't. <laughs> okay, Gun that's fire. that's actually uh, I uh, that's something I talked about with my mom today. I have a uh, by it's something with one of the valves in my heart. I think I have a by valve in one of my arteries. I think is the way she described it. Which means I'm actually sort of susceptible to heart-related problems, specifically heart attacks. So it's not something- I don't have to, like, start watching my cholesterol until I'm seven- uh, uh, No, until I'm, like, 40 or so. I'm still gonna talk to my doctor about it and whatnot as soon as possible, as soon as I can afford regular doctor trips. Because, you know, those- like, you gotta be responsible about that kind of thing. You only get one body to work with, so you may as well take care of it, right? But anyway. Uh. Yeah, that's... I knew there was something up with it. Because this happened... This was a big thing with CSL not too long ago. I told them, I know there's something up with my heart, I just don't remember what it is. And they were like, we're gonna defer you for a couple months so you can talk to a cardiologist and confirm what you already know, which is there's nothing actually wrong with you. <laughs> These slugs are not putting up much of a fight here. I think we're just way too strong. You know, if I could just knock them out, like, oh. Uh, this was a plan that has backfired terribly now. Uh, well, if they could do smash attacks, so can I. You're not special. I've got criticals out the wazoo, too! Although, if I could have gotten it one turn earlier, that would have been nice. No, uh, sadly, Pillow Slider Fanu went with the more awful choice of naming it Gaming. I, well, I already burned pizza, was the thing. Like, I already used pizza on my favorite food. It's the thing my mom gives me whenever I go home to rest. So it's like, I can't do that. So what's the other thing that I like more than that? Gaming. Okay, that works. Or I could have just called it PK Games, but... That didn't sound quite right to me for some reason. Yes, so I actually do have that size skill. I have, I have, P I have a, a PS, uh, or no, it's Psy Gaming in this one. It's not PK Gaming yet. I'm going to still just call it PK. I, I'm starting to remember, I was talking about this earlier, the boss that you can just cheese and destroy utterly. That's in the next area. That's after you get Paula. She has an ability, uh, she learns a status skill I think it's either hypnosis or some other status skill where you can just annihilate that fight if you keep hitting the boss with that status effect. He will not be able to do anything to you. It's like playing Suits, the business RPG. Get your second party member because he's got an attack that can just neuter every single fight that you can come across. You know, if you're lucky enough. It's always a percentage-based thing. All right, I think I have, I've got, my health is maxed out. I have 25 side points to work with. I've got two healing items. I think we can take this guy on. 
I have not read that comic pillow sledder, but now I'm gonna write down that name just so I remember for later. Earthbound fan comic, The Chosen Four. And now I'm gonna redraw that whole entire comic and like sabotage Nuke to only see my shitty version of it. <clears throat> Redo all the art in your trademark style. I yeah, mean, you have trade. ten. You have ten minutes to work with. You could theoretically redo the whole comic in that time. <laughs> You're talking shit still, Fanu. <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just telling people of your strengths. It's the entire game as a comic. Wow, that takes some dedication, dude. Yeah, I could do it in like thirty minutes. You finally got here. This is the first your sanctuary location. But it's mine now. Take it from me. If you dare. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Because he starts with two black antoids on his side. And because of the amount of damage those things do, if you don't clear them out fast, you're in trouble. I remember that now. That's why that attack is so powerful. Probably get away with one more hit here. Alright. Uh oh, right, he can do that. The longer this battle goes on for, the worse trouble you're in. Because he'll just keep neutering your stats over and over again. Yikes! Don't kill me! Okay. He didn't even get a smash attack. How did he do that much damage? He's drunk. Apparently, yeah. I Got break him. these buffs. Apparently, you can, actually. 759 XP. Wow. Forgot that the boss is, like, let's just set the standard. It's like, that is titanic compared to what you get out of any other boss in this, uh, out of any other enemy leading up to this point. And we got healing out of it, too. So now we can just cure any status effects we get. I think that's how that works, right? That particular side? Let me double check. Uh, yep. Here's a cold sunstroke or sleep conditions. I've never actually encountered the sunstroke status effect. I guess I haven't gotten far enough in the game. I know there's a beach-like area. That might be it. It's the big foot. Caught a glimpse of a small, cute puppy. Nessa Soundstone recorded the melody of the giant step. It's even playing the full song in the background whenever you get to one of those locations. And now I understand why he played that particular song at the beginning of the documentary video, the Happy Video Game Nerd. Oh, I get it. I forgot about that. Also, look how pretty much everything around me is just fleeing in terror. This is what happens when you get strong enough. The enemies are just running away. I don't think it's worth it even going through the battle. Really, because I don't think they give... barely get anything. If it gets to that point, I don't think they give you enough experience to make it worth it. Oh, never mind. I'm at level 11 now. What are we at? Experience points. Yeah, it's almost a thousand for the next level. It's like I could like backstab I could sit here backstabbing mice and mice and ants for a while. But <laughs> Oh 
We're only getting how much experience out of every single encounter? It's like, to get to the next level, we'd be grinding here for quite some time. Yeah, 68 experience. It's not so bad. Maybe get a little bit. Maybe you just get some. Make the next level a little easier when we finally get to enemies that are on our level again. Insta wins don't give as much experience. Okay. I see. Now I understand. I see. So let's compare that. No, 37. Looks like it's as much as these guys would give me normally. Here goes that. And here goes this thing. You know what was one of the best things about going to Salt Lake City to visit my sister? Hmm? I finally got a chance to eat a bento box again. And that's something I haven't had in a while. The rice at this place. I wish I could rem remember their name. I think they were like called Korea Bowl or something like that. But the rice they had, it tasted, it had a buttery quality to it that just made it so freaking savory. Oh, it was good. And oh, I all... thought it was... No, continue. I have a dumb joke, but continue. All of the, um... The tempura was amazing. You could tempura almost anything that was there, too, by the way. I, of course, got the shrimp, because why wouldn't you get the shrimp tempura? Considering that's what actually makes sense. Like, you ready for my dumb joke? Sure. Okay. As long as it doesn't thought... get me banned off Twitch. Okay, <sighs> gotta remove that one. Ooh, that. Ooh. Okay, so I I, I deleted the five times I would say the N-word rapidly. <laughs> okay, but no, I was like, oh, I thought you wanted to go to Salt Lake City because you finally found something that was salty as you are. <laughs> oh, Lord. Not quite. It. I, I thought I was going to meet one of my kind, but sadly they aren't quite on the same level. Hey, Sammy! Always good to see somebody come back to a future stream. How you doing tonight, buddy? Hello to you, too. We're just playing some Earthbound. Chilling. Killing. You know how it is. No, actually, I think the, I think the explanation... Like, the, the message you get at the end of every battle is uh, such and such became tame. Like, the evil influence that's taking over their mind has been removed. Yeah, we literally can't have kids killing things. <laughs> I mean, well, except could. if you're, except if you know your Dragon Quest, <laughs> or if you're the Promised Neverland, but that's spoilers. I've been watching that actually. I mean, Pillow, you've been here for quite some time. I know you're good people. So if you want to enter the call, I could let you. Like if you have a mic and headphones and everything. What do you guys think? Would that be okay by you? I have no problem with it. Couldn't you read it? Uh, no. I'm illiterate. What a rebellious kid. Come to the Onet police station later. Tell Cyrus says he's good. Okay. Just double checking. It's like, you, you've put in your time. You deserve some perks here in this prison. That we call the fan base. <laughs> well, yeah, they have to be your fan. That's torture enough. Mm, I, I've been thinking of actually starting a new run in a hat in time. Because apparently there's something up with my save file. Like, the mods just don't work. I remember having this issue before, so... I, I kind of want to just start a new one and see if everything works the way it wants to. Because there are so many mods I want to try. Like, uh, I want to try all of the custom fan-made levels that people have come up with. I want to try things like Hat Kid Swears. That seems like it's going to be a really good one. I'm going to say it! Don't you... I'm going to say that word! Somebody's... Ness. Ness. I'm a friend who you've never met before. My name is Paula. Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. Ellipses. Hear a girl in our dreams. And unlike most situations in real life, this one actually, uh, this actually means something. Good morning. Another copy. 
Tamer of the Sharks, actually a boy in a red cap. Oh, the devs removed mods for a bit because it was causing uh, problems with a new update. Mm, yeah, okay. that happened the last time with the Seal the Deal DLC too. That happened uh, before when they did that because they were like, okay, we want to make sure there aren't any compatibility issues. We want to make sure it, everything's not exploding because of the workshop and like codes not playing nice with each other, so on and so forth. Really does make sense in that case, considering how big of a game that is. Hello? Hello? Is that you, Ness? I can hardly hear you. Sounds like you're calling from the moon or something. If you're doing okay, that's great. Listen, I have to get going. I'm trying to give Maisie a flea bath. Bye. Brief conversation, but it'll stave off the status effect a little longer. Oh my god. Dad gave us almost 800 bucks. That's more money than I have than I currently have in my bank account in real life. <laughs> Loser. I'm saving up. Eventually I'll get to the point where I have three months worth of bills so I can, you know, emergency money. That's what I'm working on right now is emergency money. Er, what am I going to do next? <laughs> Sorry. Every time I look at Ness's sprite, this is real flappy shoes. It's two sides of the same extreme. L like, his shoes are either, like, up or down. So, him walking around is just like... <coughs> every step is unnecessarily hard on the, s on the pavement beneath him. It's amusing my in my head, damn it. Oh, sorry. Uh, ha 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 ha. Ho ho ho. Renu, the master of comedy. It would have oh, hurt oh, less had you not done the fake laugh at all. Yeah. The, the silence somehow is less disappointing than somebody giving me a fake laugh about it. <laughs> I guess I'm a brighter now. I finally got all that darn grinding done last night. Hmm. You've been talking about this game since yesterday. I can, but I get a little obsessed when I get certain games. <laughs> so here you are. You're the little delinquent that came back from Giant Step. Now you listen here. Don't enter means just that. Do not enter. You got that? And furthermore, <laughs> it's usually those tax evaders who. We don't enjoy blocking off the roads, you know. It's usually the local whiners that make a big deal about emergencies and meteorites. Why is the road to Tucson closed? An emergency, of course. In times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Anyway, <laughs> are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Or to... Tucson. Tucson. Tucson, Arizona. I'm gonna be <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think of that. I'm going to be returning to my spawn point tonight. Okay. <laughs> Follow me. Give me your badge, oh. kid. I want to take your badge, but damn it, you get results. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, uh, Finu, your spawn point has been updated. Oh. It is now uh, in the saltiest part of Salt Lake City. Because <laughs> you know you're a salt lord. Let's see if you can get past five of my best men. Oh, lord. Hey, let's have, let's have some police brutality yet, gentlemen. I wasn't going to say it, but... Uh... There are some people who theorize this is actually referencing a real-world event that happened. Oh, shit. Like, it's the specific reference to five police officers beating up a single individual. Like, Grant, I was just joking. Oh, they turned off their body cams. You're you know tough. It's you should join the police force. Your average policeman is stronger than any superhero. Yet, the superheroes do better than the police. I... jealousy much? It's always upsides and downsides to the world getting invaded by evil forces, isn't it? Because on one hand, it, it's really bad that everybody is, uh... 
everybody is facing the imminent threat of an apocalypse. But on the other, uh, kids start developing psychic powers, and everybody starts remembering how to use magic and whatnot, things like that. Bring it on, well, except, fat boy! Well, except if you're Jeff. Kind of. Use technology. Yeah, I no, 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 heal! Duh! I had a feeling that was going to happen at the end of that. It's like, I don't have enough health to, su to survive another hit if the guy decides to go nuclear on me. That was literally an unwinnable situation. I was mashing the button to try and get an action in before I ran out of HP. Yeah, Phillips, but like, when you do f defeat the cops, they do say... They're, they turn back to normal. It could be that they're not normally like that. Yeah, yeah, I never thought about that. That guy guesses uh, influence as just like amped up their protection of the civilians. A little too high. Hmm. But the, uh, it's one of those like you're considering, uh, Oh, how do I put it? It's, uh... The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Yeah. Kind of thing. Or like, the... Any ideals, if they go too far down one particular route, they're still dangerous. Am I on the right track there? Yeah, kind of, sort of. Or... Mentality of if they... If he is unable to, you know... Continue on this journey, he'll be in less trouble because then he doesn't have to fight the spooky alien. Hmm. You know, that will actually kill him. <laughs> you don't have any cycling. I Never. just caught that. I wonder why, because I stayed at the hotel. Did you hmm. do that before or after saving? If I recall, I think the hotel only heals HP. What? Bring it on, fat boy. See? See? It doesn't help that somebody in the chat earlier made it. also made a reference to Team Fortress 2, so I've just got that on the brain right now. I I mentioned that, Lee. Oh, oh, for how they Christ's have action. sake! Twice in a freaking row. You know what the sad part is? The last guy's gonna run away. Let's go to your house after this. I have nothing left. No, wait, I got a hamburger. Hamburger. He just smacks out of Ness's hand. <laughs> no! Hmm. All right. Well, fine then, game. You know. If yeah, this is the air problem. I admittedly do have this game somewhat. <sighs> it's like no I said, this game doesn't pull over. punches. You'd think actually going into an inn would give you all your resources back, but sure, I'll make the long, arduous trek all the way back home. I'll just waste a minute going up and a minute going back. Or, you know, I'll take the random chance to find a butterfly somewhere. Like, maybe it'll spawn in, maybe it won't. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of the time, this game is really convenient for the player. They do a bunch of things that are really nice for you. Then there are other small little things here and there that it's just like, what was the thought process behind this decision? Like, only eight inventory slots, what? I mean, to be fair, that's more memory than anything for that. Because the way these games work back then, you kind of had to work with what memory you had. Okay. There we go. 96, uh, 96 HP, 31 Psy points. I mean, let me put it this way. For new, the original Pokemon had a similar problem. <laughs> uh, the, the original do... Pokemon had many problems. You know, they, they do store... Restore your PP. 
Oh, yeah, they rest- I was more talking about the uh, inventory issue. No, no, no. Meaning, Fanu's initial complaint isn't valid because it does restore his PP. It, that- In other words, it's basically just he used it all up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Lee. What are you talking about? People are people are giving the new DLC a bad review over one hidden thing. What? Wait a second. Are they They're talking about pitching up the Majima thing? Are are people really bent out of shape over Nyajima? Hold on a minute. Oh. oh. I well shoot that must be really hidden because I didn't find that. Huh. It's people getting sick of basically, hey, stop forcing politics into our shit. Look, no matter how hard you try, everything is going to have at least a little bit of your own personal politics in it. Your own, like, you gotta write from what you know, is the thing. Right. You can't pull art out of nothing. It's just an extent of what goes into it. I don't know. If you, there are games out there that are very political in nature, but I don't, I don't know. Like Pac-Man. <laughs> uh, Pac-Man is actually about the Guam War, and how there were no resources to go around for anybody. No, it's the Ugandan genocide. <laughs> Listen, I know Colossal Cave Adventure. What everybody knows that Colossal Cave Adventure was about the African apartheid. Well, South African apartheid, <laughs> because that only happened in South Africa. That's actually a really good point, Lee. That's a really good point. I... <laughs> hmm. I don't know anymore. I just... It's like, I've got my own stances on things, but I try to keep it out of, like, the shows I do, the streams I do. I, I, I try not... Because I'm not the right guy to ask about that kind of thing. I'm not the right person to talk about, like... Because I don't know anything. I don't know a damn thing about politics. This is why I, I live in a system where I elect people who supposedly know more about it than I do to take care of all that shit for me. You know? Ah, oh, but anyway. Yeah, that's... Gonna, that, in my I, opinion, if you want me to say something on this matter, I think that's a little dumb. And it's, like, hidden, too. It's not like they're forcing it down your throat or anything. It's just like this one little Easter egg hidden off in its own little corner. So, yeah, review bombing the game over that. Like, ignoring all of the other really good stuff in that. Because that's the thing. Nakaza Metro is really good. It actually brings the game back to the level of difficulty I thought was just fine. Like, it's not, it's not pulling any of the Death Wish shit, where they made it super difficult for no reason. I will be right back. Give me a minute. That's it, buddy. You can forget about me. I'm going to call for my boss. <laughs> the fifth guy just runs away. I was going to bring up, like, how you were talking about how, uh, in Africa, they started, uh, charging people fines for witchcraft, and you're like, you thought that, like, like oh, that's them just being clever, and then I pointed out, like, no, they horribly torture people because they that's what they believe. Please and stop! Like, that's old. I've apologized for that sense, okay? I didn't no, know any better. Stop, stop bringing up my old sins. I I was just gonna point that this, this shows out, like, hey, yeah, you just didn't know about it until, like, I told you. Okay. You can't get mad at yourself for something you didn't know about, Fenu. Yeah, but the rest of the internet is definitely going to get mad at you for little things like that. Ignorance is... N uh, everybody will start, like, using the, the, the rule of the law for you. Like, ignorance is no excuse, you know. Like, how am I supposed to know if I don't throw my opinions against other people? How am I supposed to grow at a person if I'm never allowed to make mistakes in the first place? The internet just kind of expects you to be perfect right from the get-go, and that's not fair to anybody. Like, I don't hold it against you. 
you like you like I wanted to correct you at that moment just because like hey no Fanu like stop like advocating for this like you, you don't have all the info okay No, I wasn't being hateful. I had no idea. I, I I had no idea. I was just making a joke. Because the joke I was trying to make was, well, okay, the government's mentality towards this is, if this does exist, let's tax the shit out of it. But no, that, that was, like, a way of them, like, to oppress a very specific group of people. So, I, I made a boo-boo there. Hey, Strong here. Do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen, a kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. He's a kid in a red cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that! Don't ask me why, just do it. That's an order. Okay, Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now. But I do want to see you again. Good luck. This is how- this game is such, like, it's got such strong anime energy, you know? In, in the sense that, hey, we're beating up all of these people and they're immediately becoming our friends afterwards. That's how you- that's how you make friends, right? You just find ran- you just go on an adventure and you start punching everybody who gets in your way. And then they get up off of the bar floor, like, missing a tooth, blood dripping out the corner of their lip. It's like, you're an okay guy. I see your way of thinking now. I'm gonna call you Kenshiro. <laughs> you and your magical martial arts. That you know that can regenerate eyesight, memory, not limbs. No, no limb regeneration yet. <laughs> Mock Pizza still isn't open. The Onet branch. That's how friendship works in wrestling. Forgot about that. Forgot that that was a thing. But then again, people have bonded over weirder things. Actually, that sounds kind of good. Like, bread and cheese is a really good combo. I don't know if it would work with cottage cheese, though. Hmm. Oh, th this, that's an interesting little little detail here. So listen to this dialogue. This is almost, this is almost in lore right now. So, it seems like every bakery has been making lucky sandwiches these days. They're kind of like fortune cookies, except you can win stuff. Oh yeah, and it's a sandwich. Okay, so maybe it's not like a fortune cookie. Anyway, the best thing that can happen is recover PP. I just wish I knew what PP was. Which may... That's not a game thing, that's an in-world thing. Because people who can't use psychic powers wouldn't know what psi points are. Because they don't have to use them in their day-to-day -day life. So you can almost get away with that if you squint your lo the logical side of your brain at it. <laughs> Alright. What do I do now? I feel like I need some more healing items. Watched Fight Club two days ago. What did you think of that movie? If you've never seen it before, that is, uh... Did you have any spoilers going into it? Did you have any spo- Because that's the big thing. If you know what the ending is, it kind of robs the film of a lot of the charm during the very first experience. I don't know. Well, I've seen one of the stupidest things ever tonight. What? My parents said come home with dinner tonight from um, over here at Bob Evans. Mm -hmm. And apparently they ran out of takeout containers tonight or something. Uh -huh. So what they decided to do, since we had to order salads for everyone, is they put them all in like... You know, like, those stupid tinfoil, like, containers they do for, like, t um, catering? Uh, I think so. 
They put all the solids in those. And then they just gave us one like, soup thing of dressing for all four of them. Hmm. Like, this is disorganized as hell. It's ridiculous. <sighs> yes, I know about the combo items, Lee. How you can, like, put ketchup on a burger and things like that. Or add salt to it or something. And that'll, uh, that'll honestly, make it taste better and therefore it heals more HP. I honestly don't really use the combo stuff much, to be honest. Well, it takes up more, uh, more of your very limited inventory space, so... It's nah, sort yeah. of a risk-reward kind of thing. But most are weird. Guess what the lucky sandwich is. Uh, if it's weird, then it's... Sugar? Put sugar on a lucky sandwich because of that commentary the lady made about, about it being like a fortune cookie? You'd think you'd want to put, like, ketchup or mustard on it or something like that. Or maybe mayo, if that's one of the items you can buy. Or pepper, I think. Carton of cream. Huh. I guess I get that for the... Okay. I'm not sure if... No, brain, stop it. I'm 12. Mm -hmm. I'm, I, I am 12. Oh, am I 12. <sighs> I'll tell you about it after the stream. I just had an image in my head, but considering some of the conversations we were having earlier, I really don't want to tell hmm. the joke out loud. Psychic. I'm trying to remember what um, I'm to give you psychic points, because there aren't that many. I remember what I wanted to do now. I need to drop some of these things. I need to sell my cold remedy. I can eat my skip sandwich now. So I can just Actually, run along. I keep along that cold remedy if I were you. Really? Okay. Because I think there are enemies coming up that can do that to you, and that is not a status effect you want to deal with. Oh, right. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, cold is basically... Aw, oh, shit. I have the oh, worst status effect mushrooms. in the game! Nah, let's <laughs> run so to the hospital! Right the Smash Brothers. So, okay... The thing about the uh, having the mushroom on your head, it's not bad at first, but if you leave it for too long, it starts to really screw with your character. As soon as you get this status effect, you want to run to the hospital ASAP. But you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Hey, now that I notice, could you see? Could you sell me the mushroom growing on top of your head? Come on, let's <laughs> make a deal. Sure, I'll take it. I love how he doesn't question it. You recommend keeping it, actually. Why's that? I think there's actually someone else who who will take them off your head later in the area, but... Hmm. They, like I said, been a while since I've played this, so... Well, the thing is, it just absolutely destroys your ability to survive in combat. Like, you will be dropping... <laughs> so, from what I remember, you will be dropping almost all of your actions. You'll never hit the enemy. I think you'll also take damage every single... No, no, no. Poison is the common cold. Like, that's the, that's the stat effect, effect that replaces poison in this game. Is you get the cold instead, and you sneeze every turn. You sneeze so violently, it actually causes you physical harm. Uh, there are six items in the game that restore PP. Are there? Yep. Wow, like, all together? Oh, sorry, eight. But yeah, there's only eight items in the entire game. Like, some of them are, like, purchasable. Oh, okay, um, okay. I thought there was only eight items you could find, period. No, throughout the entire game. There's eight game. different type of items. How did Dad call us all the way out in the middle of a field? I still got a little less than an hour left in the stream tonight, Dad. Mushroomized inverts your controls. It's in battle actions. It's essentially berserk for the most part. Okay. No, you also have a chance of attacking your teammates, so it also counts as the confusion status effect. I remember now why I hate the mushroomized status effect, because you also have a chance of hitting yourself. 
and considering how boosted up your attack power is, that will absolutely ruin your day. Uh... See, usually if I see a battle that I know I'm going to hate like that, I usually just walk away to despawn them. Funny enough, uh, the three of the PP recovery items work better on Poo than the rest of the party. Please get out of battle! Well, crud. Thank you. So now we gotta deal with the inverted controls. Uh, not yet. If you manage to sur uh, now I do. Oh, it's not inverted, by the way. It's not inverted, it randomizes your controls. Oh, so right now, worse. left is up, right is down, down is left, and up is right. <laughs> this be tripping balls. It's like, it takes you a little bit to get used to it, and the thing is, it can invert itself again. It, it can change up your controls, like, halfway through walking, it'll do something entirely different. So now you have to get used to a brand new control scheme walking through the world. Oy vey. I don't like it. I don't like it one little bit. Could no, be worse to be the mushroom sass effect from Mario RPG. <sighs> Thank you. It's like, if I get close enough to the next town, then I'll keep a hold of the status effect, but right now I'm trying to focus on actually living. Oh yeah, Lee did bring up a good point. The way the game works, you can only have one status effect at a time. That That's a good point. That's actually... You know what? I think I know why I ran out of side points. Maybe it's because I got a game over. Oh yeah, I just remember, if you get a game over, you lose all your side points. That might be why. I had none of them when I respawned, and it just screwed me out of another victory because I didn't realize that was a thing. That dog has seen some shit. <laughs> you like that expression on his face? <laughs> just that thousand yard stare as he's looking off in the distance. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? What am I fighting for? <laughs> Oh god, the dog's zero. No. Oh no, he's dead again. Now he's back. Dead. <laughs> back. Dead. Ugh. Yeah, that gets annoying after a while in the X series. Even in Z at the end of Zero Four, we have no idea if Zero actually made it or not. Yeah, Zero Four is not good anyway. I. I mean, it also has one of the best final boss themes ever made. To like, you. Yeah, okay, I guess it is just my opinion. Who'd put stock in my taste in music, right? I don't. I still haven't forgiven you over that Ash Cancorp thing. I... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a good cover. It's I, not. I liked it. And that's fine. I thought it was one of the shittiest covers, and I just thought it was funny that Coops, who does like uh, Miss Ash, Mr. Ash Corp 2, came in and was like, no, Finu, that's, that's a bad cover. Well, alright then. You say you don't know anything. You're a poopy head. I'm just gonna shut up now before I infect people with more bad opinions. <laughs> Pay your taxes! <laughs> Listen to your parents. Drink your milk. Always remember to floss every morning after you brush your teeth. Well, it's actually not that good for you to drink milk. Really? Like cow's milk. Yeah, if you drink too much of it, that you actually force yourself to become lactose intolerant. Really? It's actually not that... It, yeah, because your stomach doesn't actually digest it as well. The more and more... Uh, also, it's not that good for bones, either. 
Huh. Maybe that's why everybody in my family hates it now. I was wondering, because my sister actually became lactose intolerant after a while. Maybe it's because she and I ate cereal for breakfast all the time. Oh man, I'm gonna be so sad if I develop lactose intolerance. Because one of my comfort foods is a tall, is a tall glass of chocolate milk. I'm gonna be super sad if that ends up being a thing. Uh, lactose intolerance makes you, like, have, like, this makes you poopy. And yeah. your farts smell really bad. <laughs> You're not going to die. Yeah, still, it's very inconvenient. Yeah, anyone see that one Earthbound video about those moles? I don't know. Probably not. I didn't. <sighs> Semi-philosophical, that mole right there. It's like, yeah, you can tell who your friends and your enemies are like this, but if you always avoid conflict, you're never going to make any progress. <laughs> Not gonna, you're never going to make any personal growth here. Alright, let's intentionally try to make this happen. Let's, in let's intentionally just defend every turn until he starts spreading some spores around. Boys! Oh, come on. When I actually want him to do it, he's not going to do it. When I don't want them to do it... There we go, finally. It's randomized, too, how long it is until bad things start happening to you. Like, from what I understand, there's usually a tiny bit of a grace period at the very least. But, uh, yeah, right after that battle, immediately my controls started fucking up. Think oh, oh, there are different forms of it, too. No, you stay awake! And the mushroom just comes with joins us, too. Oh, thank goodness. He actually used that on the enemies. There's a chance We're you can use it on yourself, too. Which, that's a bad day. You hit yourself with a psi attack. You, that's... You're, uh... Oh god! I just have a funny image in my head. That while he's moisturized, he just sees like a like a bug on his arm. Ah, a bug! I'll take care of it. He just <laughs> psychic powers himself to get rid of it. I I will not use psychic powers to take care of the dishes. Yeah, this is just how uh, Last of Us starts. <laughs> Oh, God. I want to see that alternate universe. Who would be Ellie in that situation? Paula? And and Flint ends up being, oh, uh, what's his name, Joel? Well, that, that doesn't make sense. Because that's years in the future. Hmm. It hospital. would be... Uh, it would probably be Lucas would be Ellie and Flint would be Joel, so. Okay. Because, you know, Lucas whines a lot. Got it. Oh, thank God. A brief moment of normal controls. Gosh darn it, Joel! Cycle shop. Where is this NPC I gotta talk to? Is he in the department store somewhere? Is there a hospital in this place? Oh, right, the cycle shop. There's something that we can't, uh... I don't think we... Oh, don't take a picture of me right now. <laughs> I'm not looking my best, if you hadn't noticed. I was up all night. I've got these horrible red eyes. Oh, oh, right. They only had so many sprites in this game. So it actually brief... He just takes off his cap for a little bit, removes the mushroom... It's like, well, I gotta be photogenic. Ah, oh, this is this is the worst. Where am 
I even supposed to be going right now? Hospital's up there. Okay, close to the next area is what I'm being told here. Uh, hotel, department store. There's the big park where you can buy some food, like ketchup to put on your burgers and whatnot. I believe I was being told earlier that there's some, also some strange combos for uh, ketchup as well. Like, one of the ones I caught was jerky. And I'm just sitting here thinking, well, hang on a minute. I've never actually tried jerky, uh, like ketchup on jerky before, but that sounds kind of good. Okay, I, th I think the place at the bottom right. I'm gonna... Oh! It's such a hard habit to try to break. And every time it swaps, you're just wandering around like an idiot trying to find the way forward again. Like, inverted I can deal with because mentally that's just you doing complete opposite controls. It's like, okay, I can easily translate one to the other. I've dealt with this in video games before. But yeah, constantly switching, not so much. Well, when it's uh, some something really dumb like left is now down and uh, right is left and things like that. It's just... <laughs> right becomes attack. It's there because the next area also has mushrooms, so you go there because it's the closest place. Where is this spot? I think this is as far down into the right as we can go, so it's just past the... No, that's the bus station. There's not going to be anybody... Is there going to be somebody in here who wants this? Take the bus. Is this guy hungry? That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, chubs. Uh, what about you? Uh, whoa. Whoa. Hang on, did you catch that? Oh, the, the the corner of these seats and a certain part of the couch sprite occupy the same layer, I think, in terms of sprites. Ah. That's cool. I wonder how many people knew that. Well? Oh, no. Oh, no. You stay away from me. I am not in a fighting mood right now. Not again. Yeah, I hear you crazy homeless man. I don't have any pocket change for you. This guy's uh, alluding to what Jeff does in the future. I hate inverted controls. Now, hmm. it's it's the hospital. It it is the hospital. Yeah. It is the hospital. Okay. What? I... You? F oh, a uh, pill slayer wants us to call his name. You misunderstood young man how could you understandably to tell Fanu the wrong thing and it's okay you're how, perfect i love you how, huh. how could you not remember things about this game that came out how long ago now <laughs> there's ptsd dog again whoa, whoa shaggy <laughs> Jackie, you're the sword of Michael. I am so done with these controls, by the way. I, I, <laughs> I'm i sorry if I'm missing out on things, but I just, I don't want to deal with this anymore. This is awful. I hate it. I hate every second of having to pilot a character that doesn't control right. I don't blame you. Yes, please get rid of this. It's a pain in the ass just to navigate the fucking game. Good Lord. I hate anything that, like, 
Control's really important to me in the game, so when they do crap like this, it usually gets on my nerves. Yeah. Motivates me to get rid of them as quickly as possible. Watch, watch everybody in chat tell me now, you're a fool, you should have talked to a, this different NPC who's a little higher up in the building. I, uh-oh. Well, I'm trying to remember. I think there is actually an NPC you could talk to that makes, that's, could get rid of it, but hmm. I forget where exactly. <laughs> May I say if there is one that does more money for the mushrooms? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Like, uh, tell me where that guy is, and maybe I'll... I don't know, it seems like both of them gave me 50 bucks for it. So they all just give you $50 for the for any mushrooms that you might have lying around in, uh, lying yeah. around on top of your cap? Yeah. Okay. Alright then, I don't have to worry about it too much. It's just a funny little thing. Like, it's great that they have an NPC that does that. Instead of having pe to pay him to get rid of the status effect, this is the one status effect they pay you to get rid of. Well, I mean, you're basically getting him free mushrooms to sell. One man's trash. How much money do I have in the bank right now? Oh my god! I'm in the money. I'm in the money. Wow, how can this 12-year-old make more money than Fanu? Well, he's actually putting his life on the line, killing evil members of society. So, I, I, th I think he's contributing to the world at large a little more than a, U than a Twitch streamer. I don't know, you whisk your life. You eat burritos. <laughs> Escalator temporarily stairs. Sorry for the convenience. Flash, we didn't feel like animating an escalator. <laughs> hey buddy, you wanna you wanna get over to this side of the counter so I can actually order the food that you have to sell me? No? Just gonna okay. One one out of five stars. Terrible customer service. Fuck! I hate Ness. I'll just I'll just spend my money elsewhere then. Take my one thousand dollars. I'll look at money bags over here. I mean, it's better than the clerk who just call who just called me a loser for coming by just to say hello. By that slingshot. Alright. I think, like, different weapons function differently. So selling him my T-ball bat might be a bad idea here. Eh, we'll deal with it. I s now, I s now you see why your business didn't do well in Cook, Serve, Delicious? I was doing just fine. Thank you very much. I, I was I was actually serving people really well. I only had one or two misses every single night. You know what? I will buy a teddy bear. Because as I understand it... Yeah, okay. Notice how I'm actually dragging this item behind me? The teddy bear acts as like a little personal shield type item. It's a substitute. Yeah, it'll take hits for you for a little while. And... At the point where you can buy them, they can take a surprising amount of punishment, too. Err, I'll take a burger. And I'll take one more burger. I don't want to fill up my inventory too much with, with stuff right now. I need at least a couple uh, empty slots because... I'm going to be visiting Apple Kid, the actually good inventor here, and then I'm going to go be visiting... Uh, I, know the th I know the joke about Orange Kid. Orange Kid is just going to give you bullshit to deal with. It's like the popular one is the bad inventor, and the one nobody really gives any attention to is the good inventor. Mm -hmm. 
but I also need to go by the park because I think there's some really good items here. Ever dread, huh? What I really want is the tool shops for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Hmm. The tool shop. This guy? Why don't you buy the world's greatest ruler? Nah. Do you think it's hot? Look, I didn't steal it. <laughs> the ruler is another great little joke item in this game. Now I have the power to... And now I have the power to measure things. <laughs> uh, defense spray, rust promoter... Oh, some of these, uh... As I recall correctly, some of these you can actually give to Jeff and he'll turn them into really nice items. <laughs> like the broken spray can. If you give that to Jeff, he'll a it'll actually become a defense spray and you'll save a ton of money. Yeah, essentially, with Jeff's IQ when you get him. Certain times you find it, it when you let t rest like an inn or something, he'll actively fix them. And some of those are damn good to have. All right, what what do I want to buy? Anything else here? Travel charm. What does that do? Uh, you can sell your ruler fast. Wait a second, you mean I can make a profit off of it or something? I own an antique shop. No one's buying or selling anything, so I was thinking of selling the for sale sign that sits in front of me. It's only $98. Please buy it. If you want to sell something, use this for sale sign. Because there's a uh, Travel charm makes you immune to paralyze. Ah. Uh... I think if you buy that sign, I think you could actually use that for something. Oh, yes, the for sale sign is basically, it's another way the game tries to help you manage your inventory. So if you hold up the for sale sign, somebody will come by and you can sell them one item out of your inventory. So if I really was really jonesing to get rid of this cold remedy, I could just hold up my for sale sign and somebody will make an offer on it right on the spot. <laughs> hmm. How about I buy one thing of ketchup? I think. Cat soup. Uh, the more I play this game, the more I'm considering this, the, the hungrier I get. Like, what goes well on a burger? I think salt packets would be fine. I think some ketchup packets would go well. Carton of cream. No, I don't have a lucky sandwich, though. Hello, Mr. Everdread. <laughs> Why don't we chat later? After we've locked horns. What? He's just gonna fight me right off the bat? Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, shoot. I have no side points left. Ah, uh, we're gonna make Shoot. use of that better burger. Hey! I needed that! <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. Gimme! I wanted, all I wanted was a burger! <laughs> you, have to, you also have a teddy bear here, so it'll take most of the damage. Mm. Well, still. He Most, didn't, but I, it's I didn't even get it back. I didn't even get it back at the end of the battle. It's not one of those, like, if you manage to beat the enemy, you get your item back. No, he just has that now. That's his dinner, is he's just gonna squirt the one lowly ketchup packet into his mouth. It's like, damn kids. Fucking loser. When I jumped off the roof, I twisted my ankle. Anyway, I lost. Nothing will change that. No, you're pretty strong. Yeah, I know that you want to find out about a girl named Paula. She went off to a secret hideout in the peaceful Rest Valley. A chubby boy and a weird guy in a blue outfit have kidnapped her, though. 
said that they were going to make Paula some sort of human sacrifice. They were yeah. definitely hardcore strange. No, she might be gone already. You better hurry. If you save Paula, be sure to come back here, okay? Don't forget. I hope you choke on that ketchup packet. Yes, I, I would like to buy another thing of ketchup. I don't know what happened to the first one, but it should still be here in my pocket. Weird, that. How do I get to this place again? To get to the Happy Valley, I have to go to the bus stop, right? Actually, wait. I, I don't think the bus is running right now. If I want to get to the next town, I actually have to do something about... Uh, you gotta about... walk. I have to walk? Path. Oh, I see the path. I see it now. Right, 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 right. We can't do anything about the Runaway 5 until we... Uh, until we actually have Paula on the team, yeah? I think I remember the sequence of events now. The Runaway 5 guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the mobile version of the restaurant. It's the food truck version of Five Guys. And still somehow their fries are just as good. I want uh, a small fry. Got it. Bag full of fries. No, no I just want a, a small... Like, got it. All the fries in existence. <laughs> Every fry ever. Please, stop. Got it. Your, your car is now full of fries. Joke's on you, you little plant bastards. I don't have any side points to steal. Joke's on you! I'm dumb! <laughs> it's like, uh... It's like that one comment online where somebody said, I've had ten times as much sex as you. And the guy responds with, Ten times zero is still zero. And they followed it up with an image of a sinking ship. With the caption, He sunk the ship he was on to kill the captain. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really should stay at the hotel first before I do anything, huh? Because it's yeah. going to be rough getting through this cave if I have no psi points. Oh, wait a second. Thank goodness for conveniently placed butterflies. Yeah, they usually tend to stick them in good places. Oh, now, you okay. can even respawn if you know what you're doing. <laughs> They're going to murder a girl. Nah, I'm tired, though. <laughs> well, that's like in Final Trigger near the end. It's like... Okay, you you have to stop the. Oh God, I forget what the final dungeon. Uh, is. Dio, you might want to be quiet about that. Because I haven't beaten the game. Oh, I okay. I, I'm playing it every single every single Friday now. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know what the final boss is. Okay, I know what the final boss is. Yes, it's Lavos. Yeah. So like, before you go fight Lavos, you know it's like. Yeah, but I want to do all these side quests, though. Mm -hmm. This is and this is why uh, Deus Ex. I think it was uh, not Mankind Divided. No, Human Revolution was the second one. Mankind Divided was the first one. Yeah. No. Human Revolution's the well, technically that's the third game in the series. Mankind Divided is the fourth game in the series. Okay, so. The, the in the modern in the modern Deus Ex games, I'm looking for the first. Basically, everybody praised that game because in the opening mission, they told you straight out that there's a hostage situation. You need to act quickly before all of these people die. If you fuck around too long, those people actually will die. So. Also, I found the NPC everybody was talking about. It's this little girl right here. How it says uh, she's hunting for mushrooms and she's going to collect a ton. Mm -hmm. I think if I talk to her when I have the status effect, she'll get ri she'll yeah, take she my mushroom away from it. me. But well, it, it, it's it's the same thing as going to the guys in the hospital. Okay, she'll right. she'll just give me fifty bucks for it. Actually, yeah. she gives you nothing for it. Oh, interesting. But still, it's getting rid of the mushrooms, so win-win. Wait, did my teddy bar fall apart? Because I'm taking damage again. Well, no one's the battle's over if it's gone. 
Hmm. It's well, it's 75%. Chance it'll take. Damage. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, it's better than what we had. Basically, like I said, it's a substitute. It's useful, but not fully. Not f not foolproof. You need to use it well is the trick. Hey, buddy. Oh, of course, the sprout joined in on that one. What those side points? Best part about the teddy bear is that it's completely immune to status effects. Because, you know, it doesn't have, like, a nose to make stuffy. It doesn't have any... It, it doesn't have any, uh, any like, bodily system to catch a cold with. Oh, did you get the pencil eraser? I did not. Ah, oh, crap. Well, good thing I bought that cold remedy. Yeah. That thing's been burning a hole in my inventory for a while. Yeah, I actually did need to talk to the Apple Kid. I'm sorry. I forgot to do that before I left town. Now I actually do have a reason to tra traipse back all the way across everything. Man, I wish there was an item, like a bomb or something, that you find in a lot of RPGs. But no, if you don't have enough Psy points, you're just going to... You can't use your crowd controller. And you barely have enough to really spam it in the midst of battle anyway. Most of what you're going to be using Ness for early on is healing himself. It's sort of like in Dragon Quest, how they give you the cure spell early on. For that specific reason. <coughs> Uh, time to chow down on that burger. It's pretty good. It's pretty disgusting. Negative 5,000 hit points. Damn it. It made that thing, I think, about 50% better. Because it was giving me, uh, well, a little over 50%. Because it was closer to, like, 50, 56, somewhere in that range before. And it, that boosted it up to, uh, 86, as I think is what I got out of it. Come on. That's why nobody likes enemies that spawn more enemies. It's great what? if you're grinding, but you're also taking a bunch of damage in the process. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Ugh. 532, that almost makes it worth it. Except for the fact that I need 8,054 to get to my next level, so... Well, that's your experience point. You need 75 to get to your next level. Oh, yeah. It would help if I actually knew how to read. Yeah, that, that, you know, that's a tricky thing there, reading. I've been studying English for 29 years and I still don't have it down. Oh, Lord. No, not more of them. Ooh, faster, Pokey! <laughs> he did. He moved a lot faster. He's already in the next town ahead of us. How did he get past the guards at the bottom of Onet? It's like, we, we had to save the entire town from a gang and then go to Giant Step first. Who says he wasn't the emergency that we're trying to block? <laughs> <laughs> I... You joke, but... Oh, thank goodness. We're almost home. We're almost home, guys. I even found a butterfly so I can heal myself and reduce the chances that we'll just die on the way. Oh, decent HP again. I almost forgot what you looked like. <laughs> you really do feel like you're in trouble if you stray too far away from town. It's something that gives you moment for pause just because of how much this game loves to kick your ass. Welcome to Mock Pizza. 
Uh, we don't sell pizza here. We only deliver. Let me give you our number so you can place an order sometime. The best pizza is mock pizza. The number is, uh... You got that? In game, I got that. They probably did want to have a Who Framed Roger Rabbit situation. You know? Where it's just like, we're, we're going to drop this number eventually. We don't want to, like, put it in the game and have people actually try to call it. But even then, most Not people get around that by making it, by making the first three digits 555. So... I, I think it's more because of that song. Hmm. Well, I've sort of neglected doing my housework. I know it's a bit of a pigsty, but anyway. I'm Apple Kid. I haven't taken a bath in quite a while, so I may be kind of stinky. Uh, by the Thanks. way, I'm starving. Do you have something to eat? If you do, can I have some? Sure. What can you give me? Uh, I actually don't have any food. Uh, for sale sign. I... <laughs> uh, here, I'm sure you can bite right through this. Bajkabja! Holy shit! I can I can just give him a ketchup packet or something like that, right? Like, he'll actually <laughs> eat that? I think so. But... I don't have to spend all the money on, like, buying another burger. Actually, you know what? I'll be nice. I'll buy him an egg. It doesn't work on condiments. Okay. There'll be 12 big ones. Here, are. One egg to go. What if I... Uh... Now, if I had to guess, the compliment to the eggs is you put salt on them, right? Like the salt packet? Well, a, a boiled egg, yeah. Mm, I mean, yeah. ketchup would also probably work too, but... Nice. Well, now boil egg. <laughs> Nailed it. Well, I don't know. That's a ja that's a very Japanese thing, putting ketchup on your eggs in the morning. But it's scrambled egg. But don't eat eggs. Interesting. Why, I wonder. Does it hatch eventually if you just hold on to it for long enough? Thanks. You seem very nice. Uh, I wonder if... Maybe would you, maybe you would like to invest some money in my inventions? Sure. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, uh, excuse me. I mean, thank you. By the way, I could really use $200. Alright. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey? So, what's up with you, Mr. Mouse? I'm a mouse. No one's given me a name yet. You took care of my master. In return, I want to give you this. Please take it and say nothing. One of his previous failed inventions, which is the receiver phone. Oh, I must be in your way. Zip. <laughs> You're very quickly you talk to him again. I think he also gives you the exit mouse. Or anything or later thing. No, I found the exit mouse. It was at a house on the way to Tucson. Uh-oh. Me? The crazed homos homeless man. Ironic that <laughs> Apple was later known for their phones. There's no way they could have known that. That that's that is a that is that is a joke that is way funnier in hindsight. Like Earthbound was kind of ahead of its time in a lot of ways, but I doubt that was intentional. Well, Apple computers was around before this. What are they talking about making handheld devices back at this point though? Oh, it could just be a just a reference because yeah, more like vendor and and his thing is apples. Hmm. Uh, okay, I'll hand you that one. Right, because it does say that these are fresh eggs. So, yeah, that's... Huh. So you are just, like, cracking open a raw egg and pouring salt in there and just eating it whole out of the shell. It's yes, just like, you monster. Just, like, gobbling it down in one, in one gulp. Ugh. I guess what you have to you do what you have to to survive when you're fighting evil aliens, but jeez. Hey, wait that noise. Hey, it actually did hatch. I have a chick in my inventory now. So does the chick grow up into a chicken or? No, it grows up to be a lawyer. 
It grows up to become food. <laughs> I've mentioned that before. Rabbits are food, not pets. Like, the, the, uh, the advice I've gotten from every single person who's ever owned a rabbit is don't. They're very anxious animals. Yeah. It's also possible to scare them to death. So... Raw egg is common in Japan where they have more regulations on their food. It's common to pour an egg over some raw- I heard about that! Yeah! Grace does that kind of thing. Like my little, little sister. She actually, when she's uh, boiling herself some ramen, she just cracks an egg in there and mixes it around with the noodles. It's actually really good. I highly recommend it. Yeah, it's wait until it becomes a chicken before selling it. Thought so. Like they're not just gonna leave it as a babe. Oh, there it is. There's the sound effect I was looking for. Actually, since I'm in the market district anyway, and I happen to have this chicken for sale. Customer is heading this way. <sighs> 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 I ran here as fast as I could. I'm plum tuckered out. What have you got for sale? How about, can I interest you in, a, in an egg on this in these trying times? A chicken? I'll give you $110. How's that for a fair offer? Thanks, Sonny. Certainly made it worth my while to come all this way. And off he goes. Oh, he was right here the whole time. <laughs> or this is a similar model. <laughs> All right, I need to head up the hotel here because I think it's actually time for us to end the stream tonight. Which we actually had a really good run. And had we, oh man, we were over. I was so hopeful tonight because at, at points we were breaking nine viewers. Oh, wow. So I was like, are we going to have enough people for a raid at the end of tonight's show? But we're just one person away. I guess that's all we're doing tonight, though. No extra stuff? No, I don't... I usually don't have a plan for extra stuff whenever all I right. do... Whenever I do a stream on Sundays. Because eh, the thing you're... was, the visual novels that I typically do just emotionally drain me. It's so much performance I'm putting into every single character that I just feel out of it. No energy. Nothing left to give after four hours. Understandable. All right. You know what? I'm gonna hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna. I'm not gonna have Dad save yet. I'm gonna leave a little present for myself if I ever decide to do this again. Hello, this is Mac P. This is a Mac Pizza. What would you like to order? One large pizza, please. You want the one large pizza? We'll deliver it within a three minutes. You're gonna be waiting a little longer than that, friend, because now I'm gonna save, and whenever we come back to this game, I'm just going to have a pizza waiting for me, and I'll have no idea what the hell's going on. Alright. Thank you all very much for coming out to the stream tonight. It's been a blast. Uh, thank you to my co-hosts, Dealraptor and Noel Moogle. Uh, what were we gonna do next? Wednesday was gonna be either uh, Don't Starve Together... Uh, yeah, Wednesdays are the multiplayer stream. So this week it was either going to be Don't Starve Together or Gmod if people are interested in it. So look forward to that when it happens. Uh, until then, I am What the Fnew. Later, everybody. I'll catch you guys later. Later.